In the news this morning, I have one simple thread, and that is that our democracy, if we even have one, if we can call it one, is under severe threat at this stage. We have communists in government, and the irony about having a communist party and communist supporters in government is the fact that that same party, that if it's elected under a democratic system, would then remove that democratic system and change it into a communist one. So the very existence of a communist party in a democracy is absolute madness. It makes no sense. And what I'm about to read to you will make that abundantly clear. The headline for the story this morning, and it's the 28th of May, it's a Thursday, and in four days' time we should be going to level three as a country in this unconstitutional lockdown of ours. The headline reads, South Africa should revisit alcohol regulations, ANC's Duarte. Now, Jesse Duarte is a heavyweight in the ANC top six. She calls the shots on many things. What she says has a lot of impact within the party and within their positions. And one of the biggest problems with most of these people, although they might not belong to the Communist Party, they are all still communists or socialists at heart. And all they strive to do is to take people's rights and freedoms away and dictate and cling to absolute power because this is all they have is a power-hungry lust to control everything in your life. Deputy Secretary General of the ANC, Jesse Duarte, says that South Africa should reassess its policy in terms of the regulations of alcohol with or without the COVID-19 threat. People welcome to the future. When someone in the ANC feels that something should change, they will make it happen and you will soon see why I say that. Writing in an opinion column on News24, Duarte said that as the country moves to level 3, it is important to highlight the devastating effects that alcohol consumption has on the country's health system. Now, all of these opinions and facts might be correct. It still doesn't stop people from exercising their constitutional right to freedom. And this is something that Duarte is hell-bent on removing. Duarte said that the ANC will support whatever measures the National Command Council, which is not constitutional, on COVID-19 deem fit, especially on the sale of alcohol at level 3. Bear up, people. The regulations that are coming is going to be interesting. However, she cautioned that the sale of alcohol would lead to a direct increase in the number of emergency cases. She further pointed to a UCT research paper which shows that South Africa has one of the highest per capita consumption rates in the world. Instead of assisting patients coming into our hospitals with COVID-19 complications, South African hospitals, private or public for that matter, will now also have to concentrate on the upsurge of alcohol-related injuries, which are unnecessary and which can easily be prevented with appropriate measures in place, as we saw during lockdown levels 4 and 5, she said. To me, the problem here is she might be absolutely correct. We can see statistically that the alcohol-related uh, incidents have dropped in the hospitals. But what she's not saying and what our government has failed at, if you can call it a government, is that you need to address these issues with the perpetrators. You do not affect everyone. You do not go and punish the whole class or the entire infantry like we did in the military when one person did something wrong. Because of your lack of being able to govern properly and regulate people with issues, you now want to just put in blanket rules that affects everybody and the people need to wake up to this. The history of the province where the drops um, in, let me first start, the Western Cape with its high infection rate and deaths to COVID-19, deaths due to COVID-19 is even more sus uh, susceptible to disastrous outcomes to what said. Now, these are things she's sucking out of her thumb. She says the history of the province where the DOP system and the deliberate uh, dumping of addictive, su addictive substances occurred has affected communities to such an extent that a number of social ills exist and has even led to health tragedies such as hosting the world's highest cases 
of child born with fetal alcohol syndrome. So she is literally plastering the Western Cape province with her opinion on something. Not the fact that these people that drink or consume too much alcohol are alcoholics. They are not dealt with appropriately because the regulations do not deal with that. The regulations do not deal with the people that are victims of that. Now what she wants to regulate is the access to a product that the majority of people can consume without violence. She does not consider that because that's not how a communist thinks. A communist wants to control everything that is a problem to them because they don't want any hassles. They want everything tightly controlled in their hands under the all-watching eye. We must therefore use the opportunity once again to reassess our policy in terms of the regulation of alcohol with or without the COVID-19 threat. Duarte has also defended Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs Minister on Corsazana Lamini Zuma's position on the sale of tobacco. Here it comes people, telling the industry to back off after a petition called for the removal of a current ban on tobacco products into level 3. This is how a communist operates. They just tell you how things are going to be and stop your nonsense. It gets better. As far as I'm concerned, this woman in Kosozana Dlamini Zuma has done more for this country than the tobacco industry has ever or will do for any country, anywhere in the world ever again, other than making people ill, Duarte told News24. So why don't you back off? Why don't you allow us as a country, as a nation, to make a democratic choice and decide who we want as our leadership? And we've done so. We chose her. This is now on Kosozana Lemini Zuma. Just think of what she is saying. Remember, most of the people that are complaining about this, she is assuming that they are elitist, middle class white people and I hate to you to bring color into this because I believe that homogeneously that most people in the country believe that if people use things without affecting or influencing their fellow human beings that they should be able to do so that no politician has the right to stop you from using or consuming something if you don't hurt or affect someone else you can include all the regulations in the world to stop that person from affecting other people. But you should not regulate their right to use or consume something. And she obviously does not understand this. All in true communist and terrorist style. Sale of alcohol. President Cyril Raposa said on Sunday the 25th of May that South Africa will move to alert level 3 with effect from 1st of June. With more sectors of the economy opening and the removal of a number of restrictions on the movement of people. This will include the limited sale of alcohol, he said. Alcohol may be sold for home consumption, he says, only under strict conditions on specified days and for limited hours. So they are going to restrict how they sell alcohol and they are allowed to do that. At least it's still available. Announcements in this regard will be made once we have concluded discussions with the sector on the various conditions. However, the liquor industry has cautioned that the draft guidelines around the sale of liquor could prove problematic. Well, we will see in four days time how problematic it really is. And once again, if you want to get these news updates and my insight into the news with regards to history and the future, subscribe to Double O Days. Click on the subscribe button at the end of this video or at the bottom right hand corner of the video or click the bell icon if you want any notifications. The alcohol industry currently contributes to nearly a million jobs along the value chain and supports nearly 800 small and medium enterprises. We are working with the government and providing input on the draft proposal, said the Stell Chief Executive Richard Rushton. He said that the Stell's two areas of concern are the unintended consequences of restricted, uh, restricted trading that result in overcrowding and continue to incentivize illicit trade. So if they're going to do, this, do the same stupid thing as they did with the exercise and cram everyone into a small amount of hours, can you imagine the queues or the size of the trolleys at the liquor stores? Are they going to limit the amount of alcohol you used to buy? We have no idea at this stage. 
Secondly, we want to ensure the economic inclusion of taverners who are currently excluded from transforming to off-consumption outlets. I understand why he wants to include taverns, because they do a lot of illicit and illegal trade with these taverns and how they do many things. So there are many things that need to be resolved within the liquor trade in industry, and I will probably support many of those. But you don't stop someone from having the right to buy it. I mean, that's a very, very different thing. He said that in India, where after a six-week ban on the sale, sales of alcohol, similar decisions were taken to open up with restricted trading, which led to overcrowding and fighting at outlets. Now, can you imagine a scramble for a bottle of beer at an alcohol outlet when people are standing in this very long queue? This outcome would be counterproductive to strict safety protocols and government's overall COVID-19 objectives, Rushton warned. Now, once again, the government has made it clear that this is not about COVID-19. They are trying to restructure the way we live in South Africa. And as Jessie Duarte has said in this article, that <coughs> she believes that Nkosa Zana Dlamini Zuma has been democratically elected. She has been democratically elected into a position, although she is in a senior position within the ANC. And that they believe they speak for the majority of the people of the country. They won't put a poll out. They won't go and measure how the South African people feel because they believe they've been elected and they can make decisions. Now, this is what I've mentioned before in many of my videos, and you should, you should go and watch them to actually understand what your rights are, that the party system we have in South Africa is a gang system. And I include all the parties in this. When you start to fight for the right to cling to power, you become a gang and you start to exercise terrorist-like activities on the people in society. Here in Cape Town, where I live, the DA-run government are implementing things that is so extremely influential on our lives. They can stop you at a roadblock. They can walk into your house. They can search your car. Any person authorized. This is what they are trying to implement right now. They are getting their instructions from New World Order, uh, Order agencies like the United Nations, like the, uh, the World Health Organization. These organizations have been working with local councils and they're moving towards national level now. At local council level, they've already brainwashed these councils, told them what to do. And these are New World Order agendas. You will hear our president often speaking about the new way of living, the new normal. This you will hear across the world because it is part of the New World Order agenda. Go and watch my video on the New World Order, A Moment in Time, and see what is coming. I will be creating follow-up videos. The very next video I will be creating under Double Odes will be on the history of our president, Cyril Ramaphosa, so that you can understand that he is living under a two-edged sword. The one side of the sword has got allegiances to communism and the East. The other side of the sword has basically sold his soul to the West, to Anglo-America. And I will discuss it in detail in that video that will be posted tomorrow. All my videos under Double O Days will be posted on a Friday and I will do one a week. In between, you will find my videos on In The News, on Fake News that I'll be doing soon and many other content. Visit my playlist, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. I have a lot of secrets to reveal. Have a nice day.